Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the West Ham Massive, and thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment on, and the comments are especially important for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget it in the comment section below. Uh, share this stream to your social media platforms and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. All these things are free for you to implement. They take a couple of seconds and they help the channel to grow from its current position. And we thank you very much indeed for your support in this topic. So, obviously we did the, the video, my brother Ben and I, yesterday, where we, we literally took Transfer Market as a resource and just looked down a list of players that was on the, this particular list, um, players that were available. Now, some of them may already be in talks with other clubs. I'm led to believe that one of the names that I was mentioning, um, a name of Adrian Rabio, is actually in talk with, um, I can't remember who it was now, it might be Napoli or Juventus or whatever. And there's other players that I, I said completely tongue-in-cheek, like Deli Ali, Serge Aurier, obviously Tottenham Connections, pretty much I just sort of chuckled them dismissed them out of hand but at the time we did the recording there was a very strong rumor about Joel Matip there's also a, a whisper about John Egan the former Sheffield United player as well but Joel Matip the former Celtic uh, Celtic Liverpool Liverpool I'll edit this bit out you'll never know that I've just made that slip up uh, Liverpool centre back um that he's obviously a free agent and there was talk that the club are in dialogue with his representatives to try and see if there's a way that we can fashion getting the player into the club. Um, what a difference a day makes because we fast forward, as I recalled this, 24 hours from when my brother and I recorded that video and things have completely shifted and it now seems, and I'm not saying that Joel Matip is completely off the table, but it would appear that there is the, the emphasis has been shifted and onto another player. And this was a player that I mentioned on the stream that I did yesterday. I also mentioned it on a stream I did. I think it was about the 5th of August when his name was very first tentatively linked with our very own West Ham United. Uh, and it now appears that the link has become a little bit more clear and present and the player in question is the two-time former Borussia Dortmund, two-time former Bayern Munich, uh, World Cup winning centre-back, Mats Hummels, uh, 35 years of age. And he played a matter of months ago in a Champions League final. And he had a very good season for Borussia Dortmund, all things considered. Now, obviously, the, the very easy connection to make is that obviously... Uh, he is he is German, same as Tim Steyton. So Tim Steyton will know exactly what he's all about. Um, according to this particular article, just to look, just to show you here, my resource, Give Me Sport is the website. And it says that he's he's available for free and his, uh, his wages at Borussia Dortmund up to the point that he left last season were £140,000 a week. Now, I don't think that that's a particular um, a, an amount of money that in, in Premier League terms would preclude him from a move. I mean, in terms of his experience, it, the guy's been around the block, seen it, done it, bought the cheap T-shirt. And I also wonder whether the fact that, I mean, at the moment, we've only got three senior centre-backs at the club, uh, proper centre-backs in terms of, of, you know, I, I know that Edson Alvarez can play there. Um I believe Thomas Suchek has played there in the past, but he's never played in that position since he's been at London Stadium, to the best of my recollection. 
Um, so obviously there's the centre backs that we've got, senior centre backs are Max McKillman, uh, Jean Claire Tadebo, and uh, Konstantinos Mavropanos. Uh, there's also Kaylin Casey that's sort of like on the periphery of the first team. He's not really been tested in Premier League football. And I do wonder whether, because I know that there is sometimes that the, the manager, the sorry, the head coach, I've got to get used to calling him a head coach. He's a very different role that he's got from a, a traditional British old school manager. He's a head coach, Julien Le Petegui. Um, he sometimes does like to switch it up and play three centre-backs. And in actual fact, if you look at what we did in the second half against Manchester City, it actually was a shift to three centre-backs. And it was Alvarez that was splitting the two centre-backs of Mavropanos right and Kilman on the left. So I wonder whether this might actually mean that the manager actually does dip into this market. Um, and that is, is he a player that, that we could, we could legitimately bring in? I think he is. And I don't think that his age precludes him. As I say, a matter of months ago, he was playing in a Champions League final. He came very close to making the cut for the 26-man squad for the German national team at their home European Championships. And it, it, a lot of people think that he was quite unlucky to not make it. So he's been playing regular first-team football until very recently. So I would imagine that he's still got a little bit of sharpness or quite a bit of fitness about him. And he's, he's a player. He's very, very intelligent. He's looked after himself over the years. And, and I think that if, if you look at the centre-back position, as I say, Tadebo, Mavropanos, Kilman, they're all what I would consider to be uh, either coming up to their peak years or in their peak years. Whereas Mats Hormuz is arguably the other side of that. But having said that, I still think he's got a lot to bring to the table in terms of his experience. And he can pass that experience and knowledge onto those younger players. And not just the centre-backs, but other players around the squad. You know, and, and Caelan Casey himself might be able to, to benefit from the German international coming in. Personally, I think it would be a, a decent move. I think we, we need to look into this a little bit further and see whether the, the finances stack up. Again, if Joel Matip is on the horizon, I think that that wouldn't be a bad signing. Um, I'm a little bit torn because on, on the one hand, Joel Matip has played Premier League football, so he probably knows the, the league uh, quite quite significantly better than Mats Hummels does. And he's two years younger. So uh, to be honest with you, if, if I was if I had a straight sort of choice to make between the two, I think I would probably very, very slightly still lean towards Joel Matip. But that being said, Matt Hummels wouldn't be a bad fullback strategy as far as I'm concerned. Um, but what do you think? Matt Hummels, would he, would he be someone that, that you think would be a, a good signing for Julien Lepetegui? A free transfer, World Cup winner. He's played, he's won multiple Bundesliga titles. He's, he's, he's done the lot. Like I say, he's been there, seen it, done it got the t-shirt but what do you think that's the important thing what i think isn't really what's important as far as i'm concerned because i know what i think i don't know what you think that's why you've got the comment section below get stuck into it matt's hummels what do you think would you think that that's a good value for money signing could we get the job done let me know what you're thinking um guys thank you very much for listening please don't forget to like comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and make sure to hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. All these things take you a couple of seconds. They're completely free of charge to you and they help to grow the channel from its current position onto bigger and better things. And we always thank you very much indeed for your support. So I'm going to disappear now. Please don't forget to give your full support to the Iron Supporting Food Bank charity. Come on, you Irons. We'll see you next time. Take care. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Oh,